India is increasingly becoming a major attraction for global companies in the private credit space. Last week, Bloomberg reported that Washington-based Carlyle Group is in the early stages of exploring an entry into India's private credit market via its existing private credit funds. Nippon Life is planning to launch a $244 million Indian private credit fund. Apollo Global Management, Oak Tree Capital and Blackstone Inc. are already competing for these deals here. But what is a private credit fund? But before that, let us understand what private credit is. Private credit refers to loans that are given to privately held companies that are unable to access the traditional loan markets. The repayment of such loans is usually secured by a pledge of the borrower's assets. Private credit funds are thus actively managed pools of money that invest primarily in loans to private companies. Here, investors combine their capital and allow the manager to make investments in loans to various companies. They may also purchase a loan from the secondary market. The main goal, like all other investment funds, is to earn profits. When an investor wants to invest in a private credit fund, they receive a private placement memorandum, which has details like the terms and strategy. Then, if they want to invest, they have to sign a fund's partnership agreement, which highlights the rights and fees charged. These funds are not listed on exchanges and more often than not, only high net worth individuals and institutional investors invest in these funds. There are majorly two ways in which funding to a private company takes place, internal and external. In internal funding, the company can issue additional share capital and get deposits from directors or their relatives. In external funding, the money is raised from banks, venture capitalists, private equity firms and in some cases through crowdsourcing. Private credit funds, too, fall under the external source of funding. The main difference between the two is the ownership of the borrower. In private credit funds, the lenders do not get any share in the ownership of the borrower. However, the private equity funds ask for a share in the company they are lending their money to. PE funds also typically have a limited lifespan, but private credit funds do not. According to a report released by EY earlier this year, 76% of high-yield fund managers are bullish or very bullish on private credit investment in India over the next two to three years. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.